1963, Sir Tyrone Guthrie established a new theatre in Minneapolis, eschewing the commercialism of Broadway. The idea was to perform the classics. Eventually, that changed into more experimental theatre and a new vision. Quote, the Guthrie Theatre creates transformative theatre experiences that ignite the imagination, stir the heart, and open the mind, and build community through the illumination of our common humanity. Unquote. By 2006, the Guthrie moved into a building that reflects that change. The new building is transformative, ignites the imagination, and stirs the heart, like a good play. Every architect knows that a building is really just a stage set for the drama, or comedy, that is our lives. And the new building deconstructs itself to establish lots of little stage sets where people can enact those dramatic moments in their life such as a first date, discovering a new play, celebrating an anniversary, rediscovering a classic, or entertaining the out-of-towners, etc. The Guthrie's common areas, set amongst three theaters and dining experiences, twist and turn and light in dramatic ways, unbounded by practicality, traditional form, or even a uniform idiom of its own. Alfred Hitchcock once said of the movies, quote, drama is life with all the boring parts cut out, unquote. The Guthrie cuts out all the boring spaces. The Guthrie, then, is like an experimental piece of theater that succeeds. Traditional theater traces its roots to Greek plays where the authors respected the unities, real time and singularity of place. The Guthrie tampers with the unities. Later on, theater developed the concept of the fourth wall, where the entire action of the play is contained by characters who never recognize that there is an audience. The audience, then, is voyeuristically looking through that invisible fourth wall, and that helps the play seem more real and natural. Modernist theater often, and sometimes too often, breaks the fourth wall. And the Guthrie Theater has areas that look like it's missing the fourth wall entirely such as the glass amber box room that hangs off the blue facade, or the endless bridge, which thrusts out over the highway towards the Mississippi River, but never quite crosses it. The end just hovers in midair. The building was designed by architect Jean Nouvel. Nouvel, a Prixer Prize winner, was trained at the world's very first architecture school, the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. It was formed in the 17th century and formalized a grand neoclassical style, which is often called, wait for it, the Beaux-Arts style. I cannot say if the current or recent curriculum is still traditional architecture. If so, Nouvelle has broken away from that, which is fitting for the Guthrie Theater. Nouvelle's most famous commissions are radically different from each other, and so while his style is not branded, there still is a tendency for grand shock value. I will let the viewer draw their own conclusions about Barcelona's Torre Agbar. Paris's Institut du Monde Arabe attempted a genius modernist metaphor in metal for the beautifully carved wood grills that shade many Islamic buildings from the Middle East sun. The fact that these moving metal apertures never really worked is bothersome. The devil is in the details. At the Guthrie, we are told Nouvelle drew inspiration from the industrial buildings of the Mill District where it is set. If so, it is severely abstracted and idealized, as I see no similarity between the Guthrie's shiny blue disc and boxes and the bare concrete gold metal silos that sit next to it. Nouvelle attempted, and I think succeeded, in creating a unique piece of architecture in a unique setting. It is no small irony that just across the Mississippi River, a little further downstream, is the Gehry-designed Weissman Art Museum. How did I know it was a Frank Gehry building? Because it looked like nearly every other Frank Gehry building. I find the totality of the Guthrie Theater to be exciting and not self-absorbed. Architecture today sometimes has a preoccupation with what the popular press calls wow spaces. These are unusual spaces or parts of buildings that are designed to create excitement and an emotional appeal, but have little to do with the rest of the building. 
The Guthrie Theater certainly has plenty of wow, fourth wall breaking spaces, but it seems to be done with sincerity and not pretension. In that regard, perhaps, I consider the Guthrie Theater more like Thornton Wilder's Our Town than Bertolt Brecht's Waiting for Godot. I'm Michael Molinelli, and this is Architecture Codex.